Hey guys, here it is, man. The uh, GT8 Traxxas Rally conversion. Uh, just about got her all finished up. Still haven't painted the body, obviously, and have a few little minor details like uh, balancing the wheels. I gotta fix up a little antenna tube for the receiver. Even though it's 2.4 gigahertz, I still want it to be have an antenna tube because uh, I plan to do you know speed runs. So I'll probably be getting pretty far away. So figure I'll have it up there as, uh, as far as I can but uh, anyway let's go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the shell or first let me go ahead and show you how this thing fits on here really good forgot I was gonna do that but uh, as you can see there's really not a whole lot of space in there um, I was worried about the way it was gonna look you know but I can't even get my finger up past the tire there so I mean you know I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out and the, the suspension is so stiff that I'm not worried about the body, you know, rubbing too bad. Should uh, should work pretty good. So anyway, let's look up front here. I'll show you that. Pretty much the same here, and that's perfect because it's going to be the wheels will be turning in the front, so you know, has that perfect little space to, you know, to the wheel turn. No rubbing will be going on or nothing like that. So so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get that look under the shell. Let me uh, go ahead and take these body clips off. Which is always a pain in the butt when you're uh, holding a camera in your hand too. But uh, hold on, stick with me there, and I'll uh, get get through this. There we go. I'm thinking about. I do want to add uh, some side body clips to this. I'm thinking, you know, coming out from the sides there, possibly to hold in the side. I think it would work pretty good. But anyway, here we go. Whoa! There it is, man. I took basically two tireless nights, stayed up really late, and did all the wiring and basically just got this thing done, you know? I really wanted to finish this thing, so I did it. But uh, anyway, let's take a look. I'll start back here with, uh, you got the MIP drive shafts, of course, all the way around, front and rear. Got the STRC uh, aluminum shock caps and uh, bodies. So the whole thing is actually aluminum, and then I have the titanium uh, Traxxas uh, shock shafts. So those look pretty slick without the shocks on there, or the, the socks on there. Um, and then these are from a company called Sweep Racing. And if you watch uh, URC Network and the Chang at all, he used these on his X01 uh, when he was drifting, and it was making the screeching sound, and it sounded really realistic. I thought that was pretty cool. So. Um, I went ahead and got me a pair. These are also belted for high speed runs, so that's pretty good. Um, and then, just to show you what I got going on with the body here, um, or the body mounts, these are just the regular slash 4x4 uh, body mounts, and then I use the posts that you would order when you get like the, uh, the battery extension kit for the wrestler. comes with two of them, so I just ordered two of those little kits and put them front and, front and rear. And so that kind of helps because I can just add more body washers to lift the body up, you know, when I want to just run around a little bit more and I'm not doing speed runs. Uh, it's kind of convenient. Let's get into the electronics here. This is a Leopard uh, 40 millimeter by 74 millimeter long uh, brushless motor, four pole. And it's cooled by a, a uh, Castle Creations fan. That's the only one that I could find that would fit that thing. Couldn't find a, a heat sink for it anywhere. Sure, they make them, but I just couldn't find it. Um, and let's see, I'm running the Mod 1 gearing on there. Right now, I believe my pinion's 21, and my spur is 38, I believe. And then we got the uh, Hobby Wing 150 amp ESC. This thing's going to be pretty badass, I'm hoping. Uh, I got it wired in series so I can run my two 3S batteries you see over here. So I'll be running 6S total. Um... That should be interesting. I got the Savox Servo. Not really savvy with the Savoxes, but uh, this thing is really freaking fast. I turned it on and used it earlier, and it works really good. Um, there's the on-off switch for the EFC, ESC. Um, and as you can see, all the wiring here I did in black mesh. Uh, turned out pretty good. Used shrink tube on the ends. Um, I'm really proud of how the, the uh, ESC and motor turned out, because I used it a little bit thicker mesh and uh, just looks really good I think and here I left a little 
color coding here so you, uh, when you're if you switch ESC's or motors or whatever you can uh, see what's going on there um, in here is the SR200 uh, spectrum receiver because I link all my cars to my spectrum um, controller I think that's pretty much about it I got this list over here we could check uh, oh yeah I'm gonna be running more than likely these Gen Zace batteries uh, when I do any kind of speed runs pretty sick 40C batteries um, these are three cells so they're not too savvy some good ones we could put in there um, check out the ride height here it's really nice and low I lowered the shocks uh, probably a quarter inch in the front and about uh, Maybe a half in the back, I believe. I think it was a half. I can't really remember. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, I also did the Velcro strap how I usually do there. And then, of course, the STRC drive shaft in the middle. Um, runs right through all the electronics. It actually turned out looking really good, I think. So, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I can't wait to get this thing out there running. But uh, like I said in the beginning, I still have to balance the... The tires, put a little antenna tube there, um, you know. I also made, forgot to tell you guys about this little guy. This is so that I can plug it in to the ESC and run a single 4S battery. As you can see there, if you plug it in, like so, it just goes ahead, go ahead and pulls, you know, the positive and negative leads there. And, uh... You can plug it into just one single 4S, or I guess a 3S if you wanted, but wouldn't really be very fast, so well, I wouldn't do it personally. But, uh, yeah. So this is the first time I've done an unedited full-length video, so I hope it wasn't stupid and I didn't say things over and over again. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys really like this build. I'm really proud of it. Um, pretty stoked on the way that it turned out, so... I will have, you know, run videos, and I'll probably do a video on the paint job, because I want to do something a little special there. Um, so I hope this didn't bore you guys. I hope you guys like the uh, Traxxas Rally GTA conversion, and I will see you later. This is the Delta Boy 84. Don't forget to always comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.